This is a modern and spacious over 400 square meter uh, floor townhouse. Let me just park this one. And it's on a 130 square meter lot. That is impressive, but what's more impressive is the interiors. They started this project completely bare and now it's completely different thanks to gorgeous and aesthetic interior design. And that is what we will be admiring today. But before I show you guys the design of this home, let me introduce to you the designer. Hi Iris, it's been a while. Oh, yeah. Can I give you a hug? So we've had several videos together yeah. actually. So if you if you haven't seen those yet, make sure you check the link in the description. But IEO has been practicing for over a decade now, right? Yes. So it is both an interior design and construction firm. Uh, we do from the very start to design whatever requirements that the clients would be requiring to improve any type of property you can definitely assist and offer services to you. So you guys already know that they have fine craftsmanship. So today we're going to be talking about their aesthetics, which is a look that I absolutely love. So I'll leave you to it and enjoy the tour. Okay, I will yeah. see you later then. Okay. Right. Thank you. Sorry. So please go ahead. You can okay. pass by this way. <laughs> Since we have people here, we have John here in the, in the background. So we're starting here in the living area, basically the second floor. So now you're seeing this much space, right? And you have this really cozy like space for conversations right but this isn't this isn't it long right so take note of this currently empty but this is this is an aquarium and then all around it you have storage so this entire wall looks like it's just a wall but it is in fact storage and that is something that they really wanted in the design for practicality reasons and aesthetics because it looks very clean and minimalist and speaking of you don't see any handles because all of them everything is push to make sure it's clean and then the rest of it is more storage as well as areas where you can show off your china your decorate uh, your decorative items just like this for example and also, of course, your AC has to be there, right? So you can find creative ways to display your AC or to hide it. And in this case, this is what they did. And it's not bare. You even have lights over there. And I love how they deal with these utilitarian things. Even this is storage. Over here, we have the kitchen. So you have a sort of U-shaped uh, counter space. And then you have this bar area over here, which still has storage underneath. It's gonna be a trend basically. You're gonna have a lot of storage simply because it was interior design. That is something that is highly appreciated when they do it. Okay, so you have your induction stove over here. You have uh, under cabinet lighting. You have your hood over here that's hidden. Very sleek, you don't see it from, from a distance. Again, all of the uh, cabinetry does not have handles because, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. So it comes with the kitchen system already. Okay, this one is plain, but you have these in other cabinets. Ah, oh, it's so nice. And it's soft clothes. And then over here you have your dishwasher, your sink, your built-in uh, oven, and then provision for your refrigerator. And again, everything just looks so sleek. I love that the countertop is somewhat matte, just like everything else, but they come in different textures and colors. So you have the wood like uh, medium wood over here. You have the flat gray. It's also interesting and contrasty. Even the refrigerator has a different texture. Okay, so basically that's what's here on the second floor. Your kitchen, your dining, and then your living. And notice how throughout the entire floor, you have this very harmonious color palette and that is part of the ambiance, the aesthetic, the design, everything just works together. Again, this was completely bare when it started out. Now you have all of these finishes, fixtures and furniture. Trivia, not all of the words. Like a lot of people I think commonly use furnitures. It's furniture. Okay, so let's now head to the third floor using this very adorable 
um, elevator. Right, and if you haven't already, make sure you hit like, click, subscribe, and click on the bell so you get notified for whenever we release new YouTube videos. We're on Facebook, so make sure you hit like and see first and follow us on Instagram at Resello underscore official. My name is Julia, and this is another PYO episode featuring IEO. So here on the third floor, we have more private spaces. And the first thing that we will go into is the office. Now this is the Mrs's office. And you'll see that the color palette is very neutral, subdued. It's mostly beiges, but accented with these nice gold fittings, including the knobs, which are these textured, brushed almost uh, gold knobs. And you can see them throughout the room. And then you also have the office chair, the main chair, the armrest, or the, rather the armchair with so much character. And it still has gold to complement the rest of the room. Now, I know this isn't part of the design per se, but even the AC that they chose fits so well with the theme. And then right next to the office, we have the first bedroom. Now take note, the other room could have been a bedroom as well since it does have an ensuite toilet and bath. However, they needed that as an office. So this is the uh, master bedroom right next to it. So you have this much space and what they decided to do with this space is of course to add more of the texture. So you'll see the ceiling, ha it's not flat. It actually does have geometric patterns on it. I love how they use different kinds of lighting. So you have ambient lighting, you have direct and indirect lighting, such as a different like the spotlight, the pin lights, etc. And in different uh, warmth or tones, Kelvin as well, <laughs> because some of them are cozier and warmer. Some of them are more for working and being able to see what you want to see. Okay, so over here you have an accent wall, which is where the headboard is. And you'll see that it has fine vertical lines in it. And I love how the light hits it as well. So it looks very minimalist from a distance, but when you look up, when you look closer, you have texture. And I love details like that. So they decided to put this nice love seat that's tufted to match the rest of the interior. More of the drapery, drapery much like the ones in the living area, to add height. So you already have high ceiling, but lines like this visually add height. Then you have, of course, your built-in vanity, your entertainment, and you have. An ensuite toilet and bath, and of course, your wardrobe space. So something that IEO does as well is pick really nice handles, much like the one in the office, right? But this time, this is a vertical one with the texture over on this section. So it's very grippy. It's not uh, madulas, as they say. And then continues all the way inside to the drawers. You can see. Oh, and by the way, you have a digital door lock for the master bedroom. And they also installed a door stopper, a magnetic one. Hear that? Really strong magnet. Okay, so up to the fourth floor now. So here on the fourth floor, or the top floor, we have two bedrooms still. But this one, they decided to turn into an office. So this is more of a workspace, and that explains why the lights are cooler. But you still have, um, what do you call this? Down lights or pin lights and directional and indirect lighting or direct and indirect lighting. So you can definitely display your photographs, paintings, etc. within these panels. And that's gonna look really, really nice. Over here, you have your built-in desk, presumably for their PC setups. And then over here, you have more storage. So you have lots of drawers for paperwork and what have you. It was actual paperwork inside. <laughs> and then also the ceiling. Check out how it's different from the ones that we've seen previously. So this one is more streamlined. It's minimalist still with just a black strip. And again, that just gives off a more office vibe for maybe the boys or for the, for the kids. And then over here, you still have a little bit of fun. You have a display case that's very geometric and you can only imagine what they're gonna display up here, right? Maybe toys, trinkets, collections, maybe even games. So it's up to them what they're gonna display here. And then down here, you still have more storage. Now, speaking of storage, out here in the hallway, they built this. And this one is specifically 
for the client's Funko Pop collection. So you can only imagine what this is gonna look like when it's filled. So this being a particular display case for that, you have lighting underneath, LED lights, right? Lots of shelves, it's enclosed to protect it from the dust. And then you still have storage underneath. And then this is gonna lead to the final bedroom or bedroom number two. So bedroom number two also has a digital door locks. Basically the two bedrooms have uh, locks in them, like the digital ones. <laughs> and then the, con the uh, display case continues, but in a different configuration this time. It's almost floor to ceiling. You still have LED strips underneath to light whatever it is that they're gonna house in there. But what uh, the point here is you have storage for everything, for the ones that you wanna hide and for the ones that you wanna display. And that is something that the designer also, of course, thought of for their clients. So in here, you have your wardrobe space and they decided to use two different kinds of uh, finishes. So you have the flat gray over here. I'm not gonna show you what's in there, but it's shelving. <laughs> and then this is for folded items or shoes and what have you. There you go, so you can see. And then more storage up top. We have two beds over here, which means two sets for or two areas specific to the user so you have a bed and then you have its own desk and it's the same goes for here you have the bed and then a desk in the middle you have another decorative shelving uh, option and it's so cute <laughs> and then for the accent wall you have this beautiful wood paneling and then you have the flat gray accents to indicate the two different areas. So obviously, it's gonna be two kids in this room who will be sharing the space, but it still feels very customized to them, doesn't it? So they have their own space over here. The vibe of this room is different. It's different from the one that we just came from. It's definitely different from the ones downstairs. Basically, all of the rooms have their own personality and I love it. Okay, right, so that is it for the bedrooms and the entire project actually. So let's meet Iris downstairs. But for now, here are some cool B-rolls. design it was very cohesive very consistent while still having so much personality and showing off individuality while being super aesthetic hi iris so i just finished uh touring around the townhouse and i love it the aesthetics beautiful as usual so what can you say about the areas uh as i mentioned earlier very uh clear individual design for each room while still being consistent. Yeah, of course, we have to understand the premises and able to adapt to the preference of the homeowners. And of course, it's like painting a story for every area and yeah. identifying their personality. So once they move in, they would be able to fully appreciate their homes and see the sense of their uh, liking. Of course, there are, we believe that they have their personal preferences. Apart from being the designer of their project, we have to translate yes. all their ideals. I believe you did that so well. Because yeah, as I mentioned earlier, I, I think off screen or off cam, that I could tell who the clients were even if I didn't know them because yeah. the rooms themselves spoke about them. Mm -hmm. and that's super cool. And of course, we have to create design that would make sense of the utilization yes of course the, um, the purpose of having this house of course. that's what design is really yes. making sure that things work well while being aesthetic Correct. and you did that again super well thank you oh, no, 
Thank you. <laughs> so you guys, if you want to have Iris help you out with your dream home, make sure you check out IEO. They have a profile on our website at www.presalo.com. Check out the links, get in contact with them, and we'll see. Next thing you know, you'll be making your dream home and designing them with Iris. So hopefully we'll be seeing you in another BYO episode because we love seeing your work. And hopefully you guys too. Make sure you like this video if you want to see more of Iris because I really, really want to work with her again. So we'll see you in the next video. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Presello. Bye! Hey guys, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you click here. And if you want to see more house tour videos, click right here. And we also have this new thing called Working Lunch with Priscilla, where I and a few random people talk about a few random things related to uh, real estate. So if you want to join in on the conversation, make sure you click right here. <laughs> I <laughs> know.